Good morning and welcome to Steam Livestream. And uh, I'm here in my yard and uh, today we're going to talk about solar energy. So check out these beautiful flowers, these daffodils. These daffodils run on solar energy. Light from the sun, sunlight strikes these leaves and the leaves have a, a molecule inside of them uh, and inside of a part of the cell called chloroplast and this molecule called chlorophyll converts that solar energy into the type of energy that the plants can use to grow, to uh, grow stems and leaves and these beautiful flowers. So we humans can get energy from the sun too. And turn around here. There in my backyard are my solar panels can turn sunlight into electricity. It's windy out here today. Here they are. These solar panels, I got 10 of them, and each of these solar panels uh, can make up to 230 watts of electricity. But what's really going on? Let's get closer. Take a real close look at these panels. The panels are made up of solar cells. And these solar cells behind the layer of glass are made out of silicon. Silicon is one of the uh, most abundant elements on the earth. And we can take silicon, we can melt it down into highly refined crystals and engineer those crystals to be solar cells. Sunlight strikes these cells and in the silicon of these solar cells that sunlight is converted into electricity. And that electricity gets funneled in to a device in the back of the panel here called an inverter. And this inverter converts the electricity that the solar panels make, which is called DC electricity, into AC electricity, which is the type of electricity that we use in our houses. And energy from my solar panels come in, gets fed into the utility panel here in my garage into a 40 amp circuit, sorry, a 20 amp circuit right here that then feeds into the rest of the electrical system in my house, powering all the stuff in my house. On a bright sunny day like today, my solar panels make more energy than we use here at our home. The excess energy that we make then gets shared with our neighbors and it comes in to a device right here, the electric meter. And this electric meter is called a net meter. And it measures two things. How much energy we pull down from the grid and use in our home, and how much energy, excess energy, we produce from my solar panels and gets pushed out to the grid for our neighbors and the rest of the world to use. So let's take a look at the, the meter. Okay, here's a closer look at the meter. And if you look right here, you'll see a little arrow. And when this arrow, if I can get a little closer, when this arrow points this direction, that way, which it is right now, that means we're making more energy than we're using in my home. And that excess energy is being pushed out to the grid for our neighbors to use. If a cloud comes by and covers up my solar panels, that arrow will change direction and go the other way, meaning we're now using more energy than we're producing. Now, people wonder, how much energy does the sun actually provide? How much energy can we get from the sun? And the short answer is, all of it. Well, how much energy is that? And let me draw a box. Oh, my drive. Some chalk. So that box is about one square meter, one meter on each side. And on a bright sunny day, like today, when the sun is high in the sky, the sunlight that falls in that box is equal to about 1,000 watts of power. And even though our solar panels aren't 100% efficient at converting that energy into electricity, we can still expect to get between two and 300 watts of electrical energy 
from solar panels that are the size of that box that I drew. So let's end back where we started with my daffodils. And the same sun that provides the energy for these daffodils to grow supplies energy for my house. And think about it. The sun is a tremendous resource. The same resource that allows all plant life on our entire planet to grow can provide energy for our daily lives.